get another grid system called the Hartman grid, which comes in north, south, east, west, roughly speaking, every 2 to 2.5 metres, forming that square grid. But back in the 1980s, a physicist, a German physicist, discovered even more grid systems. These grid systems are a little bit different because they don't produce geopathic stress. What they do produce at a crossing point is almost like a kind of vortexual energy that can be very, very beneficial. In what's called one global grid system, where in churches you often have the pulpit placed and in colleges you would speak from, this crossing point of this very large uh, grid system, it goes from meter after after meter, but the crossing points nonetheless where they do cross can help us open our throat chakra, they can help us attune to the planet Mercury, okay? And that's what the Christians and the Templars knew. So they placed their pulpit on there. You could speak the word of God. Now, my aim is, because I do feel that I have a vision to follow, and that vision is applying the ancient wisdom of the ancient people and apply it to a modern day uh, setting. So let's take not the Templar way of putting a pulpit to speak about God on, to open your throat chakra, but maybe people that have difficulty expressing themselves, speaking with stammers, writing, communication. I'm dyslexic myself, yet I have overcome that with interacting uh, with grid energy and I have gone on to write, I don't know, uh, <laughs> probably about four or five or, or more books. So when I've uh, worked with architects from uh, Italy, uh, especially uh, one uh, wonderful lady, she's taken on these concepts and thinking, okay, okay, Maria, we've got this grid system used by the Templars, used by mystery schools and secret societies for, for many, many, many centuries. Let's put, if we do a new build and you have uh, a place where you can activate the throat chakra, speak and communication, let's put it there. Let's find the healing energies and let's place uh, a, a, a healing part of a hospital there. Some earth energies can galvanize you and put energy in, into you. So if you put a, um, a place where you need to recuperate and have more energy, we can live in harmony with Gaia. It's not going to be the answer to all of our problems. Yeah? It's not. Uh, if it was that easy, we could easily do that you know, time and time again. But I really do believe by interacting with these energies, we can benefit our lives and the lives of our children. We can learn to live in harmony with Gaia once more.